yellow light from a dusty lampshade bounces off my sheets. There's something about September, early fall, where she lives in my memory. Deep in the greens of wooden furniture and stitches of the lace she left behind, I carry her, only in my memories now. The couch was stained from my tears and sick days. Pink carpet I dreamed on, afternoon haze, and a loud house where the phone always rang. The chairs were always full, the lights yellow, the plants watered, the grass green, the dog fed, the bed sheets changed, even if no one came over. The kitchen was always Parmesan and tomatoes, rosemary and thyme, limes and lemons, avocados too, from the trees in her garden. Her garden is my safe space. I still live there in my mind. I play and hide there in the hot sun and the damp grass. I live there in my memories. I chase the feeling of her holding me, singing to me, telling me I was so silly. She lives forever with me, a second mom, the one I ran to, scraped knees and broken leaves. She bought me everything I asked. I never asked for anything, except that she wouldn't leave me. Her home is apple pie and the best peach cobbler I've ever had. Fruits in abundance from her trees near the old brick wall through the back door. So many they cover the ground beneath feeding the birds and the worms before we can get to them. Walking in the garden, trees pat my shoulders, a dog licks my ankles and begs. Itchy grass tickles my legs, telling me I can't stay long here, though I could stare at clouds and blue all day, every day, if I wanted to. Climbing trees where I can reach, twisting and turning, olives falling, crunching under my feet. Come inside, Marie, it's time to eat. Meatballs squeeze through fingers, covered in rosemary and thyme, smelling spaghetti in my dreams, napping on the pink carpet, spices in my nose. I sneeze and let her go.